but nothing simply ends. The events of that sweltering night in June sent ripples through time. Because in its long absence, we humans had dissected the hunting tools our devil dropped in its haste. And using what we learned, we made ourselves masters of a technology unknown on Earth. We created weapons of our own that we turned against the devils when next they came hunting in the hot season. So they sent it back to atone for the sins of its past and take from us what we had stolen, back to a city grown from the shattered ruins it had left behind. A city of tomorrow overseen by computer intelligence, driven by advanced alien technology, and ruled by a dynasty of crime. What once was Nui City had blossomed into Neonopolis, City of Light. Now these shining city facades and mirrored walls of Neonopolis hide deep shadows of their own. We'll never know why the Predator decided to target the servitors first. Perhaps in a downtown cult of sacred killers, with their savage devotion to gods of slaughter and magic, it recognized something all too familiar. A thing, Sam. The body of another man has been found here on the streets, slayed and mutilated. Police experts suspect a ritual motive for the crime. See? Didn't I tell you this was a sign? A sign from the law of darkness. Message, blood, from our father Zaraguin, the scorpion god. Noah sends us blood, blood to make our turf sacred, blood to make us strong. Take up your blades, put on your ghost suits. The enemy hides in the night, but the night belongs to the servitor. The servitor!
So the hunter returned to the hunt. This was a different jungle from that which it had left behind, and the natives had forged new weapons from the hunting gear it had foolishly dropped 100 years ago. I imagine how it must have burned at the devil having survived a century of whatever hellish exile its kind used as punishment, to be sent back here with only the tools of an unblooded youngster, to have to prove itself all over again.